Hey, what's up guys? So let's quickly talk about speed signs. Those your speed is signs you see on the side of the road. Uh, they're super convenient to use for testing to maybe compare different detectors or even just test and verify that your detector is working properly. However, because they don't operate like police radar guns, they can lead to some weird behavior in your radar detector that you may not expect. Sometimes maybe your radar detector doesn't even alert at all to certain speed signs. And I've seen a lot of people concerned that maybe uh, my detector is broken, something is wrong, or are my settings misconfigured? It's not alerting to a speed sign. Is this also also going to affect police radar guns. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about kind of the differences here and what you need to be aware of. So first things first, uh, police radar guns and uh, speed signs on the side of the road, they're designed and operated a little bit differently. Police radar guns, you know they're gonna be challenged in court, right? An officer gives somebody a ticket and then somebody goes to court and they're like, officer, did you calibrate your radar to, or your radar gun? When was the last time it was certified? Did you do your tests at the beginning and end of every shift? Like there are gonna be a lot more challenges in court to try to fight the ticket, right? So the officers have to be a lot more stringent with uh, their calibration and testing and all that kind of stuff. Speed signs, that's not the case at all. They're not used to issue tickets. They just display your speed for informational purposes. And so they put them up on the side of the road and they leave them there. Over time, maybe the frequency that the uh, speed sign is transmitting at will start to drift. And if it drifts outside of the frequency range where your detector is designed to detect, it can still display a speed, but your detector may not go off at all. Uh, we especially see this not only over time, but with temperature fluctuations, if it gets hotter or colder, that can lead to some uh, fluctuations in the frequency that the uh, speed sign is transmitting at. And that also affects things like uh, automatic door openers, uh, um, and so if those start to drift, that can affect your GPS lockouts. And so a signal that used to be locked out because it was in this frequency range, if the signal is now transmitting at a different frequency range, now your GPS lockout no longer takes effect. And now you have to learn a new lockout effectively. So we see weird stuff like this with frequency changes over time. Uh, I've seen other issues like a lot of those speed signs, maybe they're solar powered. And so, you know, if it's been cloudy for a while, the battery in the speed sign starts to drop power, lose power. And so maybe uh, it doesn't have enough power to transmit as far. And so your range against the speed signs will actually start to drop and you're like oh my my detector's not alerting as well anymore what's going on you know and so you get kind of these weird inconsistent behaviors and these are just a couple reasons why despite the fact that I have done tests against speed signs, uh, it's not recommended. I don't recommend it. I know a lot of manufacturers advise against doing it. Um, it just leads to weird issues and you want to rule out any sort of issues that can happen due to speed signs. Uh, I've noticed sometimes that uh, detectors may behave differently uh, to speed signs than they do to police radar guns. Sometimes you may see a detector actually have kind of inconsistent behavior to where maybe it alerts to a speed sign and then maybe drops it and then resumes alerting or something. Um, but you don't see that behavior against police radar guns. Alternatively, I've also seen some issues to where you do see weird stuff against speed signs, um, and then you go test against police radar guns and you see the same behavior. So because weird stuff can sometimes happen, a good idea is just to rule out any sort of weird possibilities like that and not do any sort of testing against speed signs. Uh, again, they're super convenient. I mean, they're already set up on the side of the road. You don't have to buy another radar gun. You don't have to set it up. You don't have to do any of that kind of stuff, right? You just, boom, there's your source. Go do some tests, great. So um, I guess as far as maybe if you see anything weird going on with your detector, um, maybe it's good to know that speed signs are not the best thing to test against, but if you just wanna make sure that it's not anything with your detector, uh, a lot of speed signs will transmit on K-band. So make sure you have K-band enabled and for your frequency range stuff, maybe avoid using any sort of segmentation options. If you have it set up to only sweep maybe a narrow range of frequencies on K-band, maybe set it to sweep and be a wide or even an extended uh, range of frequencies if your detector offers that. Uh, some speed signs do transmit on X-band. Um, so you could try enabling X-band. You could try maybe disabling some of the filters filters uh, built into your radar detector. So things like TSR or even the BSM filters, the K filters, you could try disabling them for testing purposes, but it's usually best to leave your BSM filters turned on, you know? So just for testing, it could be interesting, but maybe just a couple things to try. Um, and then one final thing to mention, I've noticed, uh, you know, we're getting more and more false alerts these days, right? So uh, radar detector manufacturers are trying to build in some additional filters to filter out non-police radar sources. Uh, I've seen over the years, sometimes they do try to filter out certain types of speed signs, but then again, that starts to lead to concerns of people saying, why is my detector not alerting to a speed sign? Is something wrong with my detector? Is it broken? Are my settings wrong? Does that mean I'm gonna be getting a ticket against a police radar gun? Uh, people might return their detectors thinking they're broken and go buy something else. Like it just leads to all these issues. And so it seems like radar detector manufacturers are not too aggressive in trying to filter out speed signs, assuming they have the technical abilities to do so in the first place. They don't seem to be pushing super hard because if a detector doesn't false enough, sometimes people get concerned, <laughs> you know? It's a balance, like you want a detector that doesn't false endlessly, doesn't false too much, 
but at the same time, you also want a detector that sometimes falses so that you're not concerned that it's broken and it's gone to sleep or there's some other issue. So it's this weird balance between not falsing enough and falsing too much. And so if they try to be too aggressive with filtering out speed signs, then people get concerned that their detectors are broken. So there's just all these little weird things. So all this is to say that speed signs are not the best thing to test against. You can, it's convenient. I've done it many times and many times it's okay. I mean, maybe for aero testing and stuff, I've done it, but it can lead to weird issues. And in case anything funky happens, we're usually quick to be like, ah, don't test against a speed sign. It can cause issues, you know? So ideally in an ideal world, yeah, pick up a police radar gun, set up a test, a proper course and like test against one of those. And you can at least rule out any sort of funky weirdness happening with the speed signs because issues can and may arise. Not always, it's kind of inconsistent, which is kind of one of the weird things about it, but just a couple things to mention in case uh, you're encountering, you know, a speed sign, your detector is not alerting properly, or it used to alert, but now it's not alerting. Like they're not the most reliable sources of testing and a verification. And just because your detector is not alerting to a speed sign doesn't necessarily mean that that is also going to impact detecting legitimate police radar guns. It may, it could definitely be a convenient way to uh, go and do some additional testing and verification. So it's a starting point, but I don't think t uh, speed sign testing alone is sufficient to say conclusively if there's an issue or not. And so a bunch of different topics I wanted to mention, all to say that speed sign testing is funky and it's best to test against police, uh, police radar guns whenever possible. So comes up a lot. Just wanted to do a quick video about that. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next video.